Your Magistrate. Huh? Two tailors are calling at the palace gate. They say they can make robes out of extraordinary silk and satin. Send them away. I have no interest in new clothes. Wait! <laughs> But, my dear, it has been a long time since you had new robes. And, of course, you must keep up your image. Hmm. Bring in the tailors. Your Magistrate, we have discovered how to weave a magical new cloth. Really? What's so magical about it? Well, Your Grace, the colors and patterns of this cloth are extremely beautiful. But the most magical quality they possess is that of being invisible. Invisible? Reader, show these men out. Of all the idiotic things I've Oh, ever... Your Grace, one more moment, please. Let me explain. You see, the cloth is only invisible to someone who is foolish. Hmm. Oh. You know, my darling. Something like this could really come in handy. It most certainly could, my delectable Domiao. If I had my robes cut from this material, I would be able to tell from their reaction which one of my subjects are honest and smart and which are foolish. It's brilliant. Reader, give my imperial tailors whatever they need. <laughs> It. Two thousand gold coins. Shh, quiet. We must get to work. <laughs> 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 It's really all so exciting, my dear. Your exquisite new robes are the talk of the town. But when do you think we will get to see the magical cloth? Soon, dear, soon. But if you're so anxious, why don't you go down to the weaving room and have a look for yourself? Well, I would, but I am afraid that... <laughs> that you wouldn't be able to see the cloth? Are you suggesting that I am foolish? Oh, no, my sweetness. Not at all. No. What I was saying was, um, well, I'm much too busy to go down there. Yes, that's it. So, I will send somebody else. Reader! Huh? Oh, isn't this cloth beautiful? Yes. How do you like it so far? Well, um, it's very beautiful. Yes, of course. Very beautiful indeed. Why, I've never seen such exquisite cloth. It's quite, uh, uh, quite indescribable. Would you like to touch it? Yes. We'd love for you to feel the extraordinary delicacy of this cloth. But you must be very careful. These silken threads are exceptionally delicate. Are your hands clean? Well, uh, I, I think I... Uh... After all, one speck of dirt or oil, and we shall have to completely start over. My, my. Wouldn't your magistrate be beside himself if that happened? Um, well... No, thank you, then. I don't need to touch it. Just seeing it has been quite enough for one day. Yes, quite enough. But I saw nothing. I must be a fool. Well? How does it look? Is it simply gorgeous? Well, mm, well, it's hard to describe. It's so, so... Out well, with it, man! It's amazing, Your Grace. I've never seen anything like it before. Ever! How simply marvelous! Oh! But I saw nothing! Am I a fool? What wonderful news! Yes, the new fabric is stupendous! You know, dear, I think I will go and see your beautiful new robes while they are still in progress. Absolutely, please do. <laughs> dear, prepare yourself for the most exquisite robes you have ever seen. Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> I am so worried. Everyone has been able to see the cloth. I guess there are no fools in my palace. Oh, but Sakwa, the question is, will I be able to see the robes? I really don't know why he's so worried. If everybody else has seen the fabric, why shouldn't he? Maybe he's afraid he's a fool. Dongwa, please. He is our master. Mama, Papa, I have something to tell you. What is it, Sagwa? Yes, Sagwa. What's wrong? Well, you see, I'm afraid that I'm the one who's a fool. Sagwa, why would you say that? Because I've looked into that weaving room a whole bunch of times, and I can never see any cloth on those looms. Well, there you have it, straight from the cat's mouth. Dongwa! Something is wrong here. Yes, very wrong. Our Sagwa is no fool, that's for sure. Perhaps we should take a closer look ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> <gasps> this is certainly the life. Ah, yes. I'll be sad when we have to move on to the next sucker. Er, um, palace. This is, by far, the nicest place we've ever been. And I've never seen so many people trying not to look foolish. Oh, dear. This is terrible. Are we all fools? Don't be silly, Shigwa. These guys are cheaters. I wish there was something we could do. <laughs> Look how exquisite. Oh. How wonderful. How my Magnificent. I'm the only one who can't see the robes. I must be the only fool here. How ironic. Well, Your Grace, do you like the robes? Yes, Your Grace. Have we met your wildest expectations? Why, yes, you have. I am absolutely speechless. Well, in that case, let's try them on. It's true. I am a fool. I must be the only one. These new robes are the most exquisite ever before made. To commemorate this extraordinary occasion, I hereby commission one of my cats to paint a new portrait of me in these spectacular new robes. At least I will then know what they look like. Sagwa? Ah, Sagwa, you are such a wonderful artist. Will you paint my portrait? Mama, Baba, what should I do? Just paint what you see. Yes, Sagwa. Be honest. Now's your chance to help the magistrate, just like you wanted. Well, okay. Here goes. I can't believe it, dear. And we always thought Sagwa was so smart. Clearly, she is a fool. Well, if Sagwa is a fool, then I must be one too, for I cannot see the cloth either. Your Excellency, I am also a fool. My dear, I'm afraid that I also must confess that I am a... Relax! All of you. Don't you see? Sagwa is painted the truth. There are no robes. There is no magical cloth. We have been played like an Arhu. Read up. Cats, take down my new rule. Let it be hereby decreed 
that any person or persons who try to deceive anybody in this court or in this village shall be fined. Shall be fined. Reader, how much did we pay these men? Two thousand gold coins, your magistrate. Well then, anybody who deceives shall be fined two thousand gold coins. And one more thing. Can you really weave and sew? Yes, yes your, your grace. grace. Marvelous. In that case, I hereby decree that you make new robes for everyone in the palace, <laughs> including my fine cats. Yes, yes your, your grace. grace. Now let's see who is the fool. <laughs> Reader, collect the fine from those two tailors and then escort them back to their weaving room so they can get right to work. It is funny, isn't it? We were all so afraid of looking foolish that we refused to believe what we saw. Or in this case, what we didn't see. To think it took a kitten to show us the truth. So here's to Sagwa of China! <laughs>